So the uh, second map of it was Cascade. So yeah, the only the main thing with Cascade um, is that you need to play it really aggressively. That's kind of how the map was intended. Um, it was originally like Lakeside, where these cliffs are more prominent, and you could kind of hide behind the point, but you can't do that because snipers can sit in main, they can see the point for free, just like the demos. So you have to play really aggressive whenever you either win a mid or you try to retake because of how small the map is, because of how less prominent the hills are to Lakeside. So we're starting this mid out, um, both, let's see, we're taking left side, they go to the right side, and we're doing a really aggressive mid, um, we get the medic, uh, right away, Bobby's gonna take trade for it, so that's medic down and pyro down for that, for that side, and from this point, Habib just going for a bomb, and now it should just be focus calls, um, now that we have such an advantage, it should just be focus calls, Fane's gonna go down, Carson's gonna go down, and what, now at this point, Boar's gonna go down, which is good, Fane should go down, and, um, Jarrett should've gone out a bit earlier, but he's gonna manage to escape. So, um, this mid actually went better than I thought. Um, this is actually a pretty perfectly played mid. Um, all the focus calls were there when it needed. All the focus fire was there. I don't really see a major issue with that one. So from, a, from an offense side, from a retake side, because it's so... Because the map's so small and you had to play really aggressive, you want your players to all in at one side, and that's what they're doing. Um, they're trying to go right side. Um, normally, normally I would have, like... You, like from a from a demo perspective, Jared's play, playing this really aggressively because he's kind of playing in a sight line. So I wouldn't have peaked it that aggressively because of how much of a dangerous sight line that is. But he was able to get all that free spam. And if you see, I don't know exactly where they came from. I think Nursey got dropped from under yeah underneath. Banny ran in through underneath and they dropped us, and that they completely obliterated us. That was like seven kills just from the flank running in from underneath. So the main issue with us holding aggressive left side is that we didn't have any control of underneath. And if we did, they they died and they just weren't able to combat fast enough. So now we have a complete 180 on the offense and defense. Fane's gonna get taken down, which is, you know, good for... That means we can go for a side and won't get called as fast enough. So, now we want to either see a sack, which sacks are really hard on Cascade and they're not really good. Or we can just see a botting. And that's what we're gonna be doing. Boy's gonna, or boy's gonna take down spaces, which is not really good. And now we're just trying to take across this right side. So this heavy positioning is really good, because from a demo perspective, it is really hard to spam this because he's in a spot where I can't spam him, but he can still. If I if I turn this corner, I'm gonna die. But you see, the way we're retaking this is we're just we're playing it like it's a normal mid. We're just going really aggressive because if you play aggressively, you have this cover that's made for you. So the exchange is gonna go out. They're gonna have one pick advantage and they're gonna regress faster. So really, where am I? I should have been having more of that Uber and playing more aggressively there because you see, I could have denied the regression. And because we played so fast, if Fane's going to get two picks on us, if War's going to get another pick in that point, the rest of us are just clean up picks. Carson's going to get a pick, Eric's going to go down. I think the biggest issue there is that Uber was too much spent on Obliv. Um, a lot of times, I think one of the issues is I'll try to take, I'll try to get out of an Uber to make the Uber better, but sometimes it'd just be better if I was in the Uber more. So Fane and Boar, for Fane and Banny are going to bot in, they're going to manage to get Nursey and myself. Or maybe, well, they're going to manage to get Nursey. Um, that's gonna reset us once more. Um, Sky's gonna have, have about a 70% advantage once Nursey comes up. So, again, the main, main thing you want to see is, is sacks aren't gonna work really well because this map is really bad for sacks. Because for Soldier, normally this wall would be straight if it'd be a good map. And the Soldier could jump off here and then do a jump off the wall and go in. But this, because this wall is, is protruded, you cannot sack for it on Soldier. So, that's, that's why sacks are bad. Billy's gonna take on Scratchy and Jacob. We managed to get the point. We trade four for it. Um, okay. I mean, it's not a. It's not. It wasn't not worth it. It really only got us ten seconds in exchange for a few players. It was. It was not really a good play or a bad play. It just kind of happened. Um, the only good thing that came out of it was you see Sky, Faint, and Boar go down. And uh, we're cleaning up the sacks because we know we're going to happen. So now that's only four up on this side. And now you just want to see Candy just blitzing through here because they're only four up. So Bobby's got to go down. Carson gets taken down. And the all these picks, uh, Billy should be focused right now. He will go down. A Bliv's going to trade for it. Oh, oh, he does live. Okay. Um, in any other instance, you, you just see a Bliv dying there because he overextends a bit. But you really want, as uh, when you're winning a mid like that and you know you have a full advantage, you want your players to live as much as possible. So I'm, I'm here ready. I'm trying to play against the left side because that's how you should be playing. And I'm kind of, you see how I was alone there? And when you notice that you're alone, you kind of just have to back up. Oh, okay, here we go. Now we're going aggressive right side. That's what they wanted to do. If you're alone, if you're alone and you're doing the right play, it's just better to back up to your team than than you just dying, even though you're right. 
So now we're playing really passive um, with an Uber ad, and you, this the reason this isn't watch. The, this is the reason why this isn't gonna work. So we have a really we have a big Uber advantage, but you see all of us are clumped in one spot, and you cannot fight the point from this spot. So we're going underneath to try to um, use it as an ad, and we don't get the medic. So like Sky kited that well, but Eric still was focusing on Sky more than the point, which I think was the issue there. So I was botting across point so I could get spam on them, because um, I assume Eric was going to go to point. And I do get some, I pick up some kills, and they still have an ad, so if we didn't get this cap, you wanted to get the force, and that's exactly what we got, we got the force. So we should be trying to play this post, I'm going to get weak, but we actually didn't cap during that, which wasn't expected. But now we actually do have to go in, so I'm going to be botting alone because I think Eric, yeah, Eric was a spawner, Eric wasn't in yet. Um, so I had to initial, initialize the cap, and me going down there is pretty, was really bad, as you see here. Because your demo is dead, now things going to be able to do a ton of damage with this heavy on point, and the, having the damage on the heavy on the point is what you kind of needed, because you saw you took a lot of damage from, from the from the heavy, but he's, because he's, because Carson lives so long, let's see allow him to hold this point for so long and get this cap. So your scout dying, like at really any point on Koth is really important because it kind of, unless anyone else assumes the position, and usually you're not going to see your, your NG like go in front of the demo because that's just how NGs are these days. But it's going to force your demo in a, an aggressive position and he's going to be taking all the focus on that. And that's going to, that if your demo dies, that's a really crucial pick, especially at that close of a, of a cap because your demo has to do that damage to deny the players on the point. So Boar goes down immediately, which allows us to just, makes us, prompt us to bot in. But as you see, the main issue is we're really scattered. We have me playing on the left side, and Space goes on the right side, and Eric's kind of going in between. We really have no set plan on what side we wanted to go when Board died. So now we're, we're kind of regrouping, funneling back in the middle. Blood's going to take him down, but even though Board went down immediately, you see on the left side, we have three players down. Just because we had players scattered on the point, there was no real plan on what side they wanted to go across. So we use this Uber to try to counter it. And um, I would not use this Uber in hindsight because this was now four down for our side, and it would have been better if they just, if they just got the cap and we could re we could refight it when it was even. Um, and the biggest issue with that, as you see, Nursey's going to go down because we had the better Uber by about one second. So Bandit's going to bottom and going to get Nursey. So now we're going to have to reset again. The ad isn't going to be a normal. It's going to be about a 20% advantage. So if there's any time for us, if there's going to be a time strat where if there's going to be a time where botting ends the strat, it's going to be now. And the biggest hindrance to this issue is um, Space Ghost died. And, oh, J okay, well, Jacob going down was kind of, I don't know if he got spotted out. Um, if it was possible, you wanted Jacob to live there. If you want as many people to live during a, before a push as possible, because you, you don't want to push with six players against nine. So our Dizad has grown a bit, but it's still not really going to matter because they don't have. Faint goes down, this should, if, if there's a time to prompt to push, it should be now. Um, the biggest issue with this, as you see, we were pushing from left side into a right sniper. And the thing with Cascade is you want to mirror your, your pushes. If their combo's on right, you want to push them right. If, they're, if their combo's on left, you want to push them left. You don't want to play opposite of the sniper, because if the sniper's far right, there's, why would your combo push left side? You're gonna, you're feeding a sideline. Same thing for the right side. If their sniper's left side, which is actually better for him, you don't want to be going right side. You want to mirror what side their combo's coming out of so you can headbutt them directly instead of kind of just feeding the sniper. You don't want the first person to be initiating in a fight to be their sniper, because you're going to lose that every single time. So the flank goes down um, for the side of Irene, which means now we have a lot of space. We can have players take under control if you want. That looks like Scratchy is going to do that. Four and Jared get taken down. We haven't used yet. We just used. I'm out of the Uber, and um, I can't really get through it, but that's fine because they're already four down. So now we should just be botting. Carson got taken down. That many should be going down. And this was a pretty good re, re push from at least that same point. The amount of time it took to get that re push was not good, but that push just in itself was a good push. So as you see, we had all of our combo was left side, and space was on, was on the right. And just playing playing separate is what is, is what's going to cause you to, to be losing on this map. So space goes dying on the far right alone um, is um, presumably entirely his fault because he you just have to play at the same side as your combo. So Bandy ran it through three through through the right and is able to kill space goes, and that's going to prompt their push because no sniper is really good on this map, and that's just a complete collapse. There's going to take it down. Our entire combo is taken down. So now we're going to be at a full Uber to set. We have a few players denying the point a bit, which is good. Um, because as soon as your mid dies, you want everyone to be going across the point and just trying to buy time or getting a pill or something. But not much is going to come from the counter side. So now we're in the same position where 
Um, we actually didn't. Did we not get the cap at all? Okay, that's that's a really bad. I don't think we got the cap at all. So we see the flank dying from Irene again. So as you see, see it with our right side. We came in through the right side and we pushed the right side. Habib's gonna bomb in. Gonna get Space Ghost, which is a really good pick from Irene. Um, the other other player, the flank's gonna go down, which means we, have, we get our players coming through underneath. We get the force. Um, so now that the force comes out, they're, th they're two down for the post, but um, with Scratchy going down, that's gonna be four down for us. So now we have to kind of just prompt to not push us anymore. Are we still do though. Okay. So. The reason the repush came out here is because um, the clock was so close, and it was complete desperation that Nursey wasn't even healing. She's going to take it out at 88%, and the rest of this is just complete just being alone. So I think Space Ghost got stabbed up here. Um, Nursey kited through left side, while the rest of our combo kited, kited through right side. So we weren't even able to get the Uber to even try to get picks on the point, because we weren't we weren't able to get the cap because the, we were Ubered. So the main reason for that second round is that our players are playing two different sides of the point, and on both offense and defense, and that's what what caused that round to go into Tyreen's favor. So right here, we see the combo playing a bit more together on the left side. Scratchy and Eric playing the flank, which, which is fine. You have your flank playing the opposite side. I love getting taken down. Sky's going to die to Jacob. Um, the biggest issue is Eric and Nursey are really aggressive with only, like, two players up. And, yeah. The biggest issue there is that Nursey and Eric stayed too aggressive in left side when we were already like we we were already like three players down so if nursey would have just gotten out faster then they would have been sitting at about a 60 percent advantage but we stayed in for, for a bit too long i don't think we i don't think our players held tab enough um at least in that instance so that's going to reset ubers to be even but from an offense side even ubers is exactly what you, what you is is perfectly fine because you hit up from the same region so we go in overhead cam, you see that they're playing right side and we're pushing left side, and that allows Boar to just play on the right and have this really good set line into us. And it's still gonna work because Boar is playing on the point. Um, it's still, like, Boar playing on the point isn't gonna give him a lot. You want your sniper to be playing on the same side of your combo on this map. So Boar's gonna be able to go down and the rest of these picks are just coming in as complimentary. Um, Jarrett and Sky are playing a bit too, too aggressive for my liking, so he's gonna, gonna take him down for that. And, uh, they should have gotten taken down as they were leaving, but you know they still die anyways. So now you want to be now with an, like a full Uber advantage. You want to see the defensive team play aggressive here because that's how you're going to win this map. It looks like we're prompting to play aggressive right side, and the good thing is is we see all of our players on the right side. We're we're not kind of disjumbled anymore. The only thing on the left side is a mini, which is going to get taken down. But what makes this defense sour is again if we look overhead, we see the our combo playing really passive, and we kind of realize that. So I think we spontaneously use without us even knowing what's going to go on. Um, Sky's going to get taken down, and Boar's going to get taken down, which is good. Um, but for post, because I because I jumped in, because I felt like, like I from my position, I felt like I, if I don't get the medic, it's just going to be another 40 seconds we lose. So I jump in, and I get Sky and Boar, which was good. But the bad side of that is that there was no one with our medic for post, and that that can partially be due, be due to the demo's fault because I had to jump in. But it could also be due to, like, if other people dying during the Uber or like players not being with their medic on the same side during the Uber. So knowing you, where your medic's gonna be ending the Uber and what side and call and your medic calling their positioning at the end of the Uber is really important because if your med can live, if your if your player has to go for a play like that, it's gonna allow that that play to be actually utilized and turn it into an advantage. So the repos is going to come in again. You see it aggressively through left side, just all flooding through the left side. Even though they're right side, you'd want to see the repos through the right side, but we still go left side, and it's still going to work because it looks like I think yes, yeah, Sky got sniped by Space Ghost, and the rest of the players are just going down. The biggest issue we see from this repush is that I'm alone on that point, and I'm really weak, and my players playing came in really late. I don't know if they were spawners or not, but there should have been more capping the point with me, especially with me at half HP. And that was kind of a precedent I saw on the game a lot, where it was really me capping solo a lot of times. So I'm dead, but we have an 80% advantage, so you see our combo playing aggressive left side, and this is this is fine. The Uber's gonna get forced in, Nursey's gonna play up top. Nursey wa wanted to play more, yeah, so this was, this, that was a misplay. I'm actually, I'm actually gonna pause that. So Nursey, so I was dead, but there's an 80% advantage. Habib came in through the top right and landed on Nursey, which got the force, and Nursey kited up top to the little window here. So the surf is cool and all, but what happened was I think Nursey like was trying to hold on to this positioning because this is a pretty good position for a medic while you're Ubered. 
I think Nursu was trying to hold on to this positioning a bit too much, and she flat she was able to get like a good other two seconds on Kresnik, but when the soldier came in, or I think it was oh no, it was Billy's horse came up down here and was reflecting her back into it, and that made it so that Bobby was unflashed, and Bobby's gonna die here because you know he has no beam. And I think Nursi overcommitted to having the to, to the to the beam here. Because if Nursi would have just jumped down, she Bobby would have gotten the entire Uber, and Bobby would have been able to escape and kite the left side, which you know at least would have helped. Um, but he's going to be able to die here. So I think an issue with that was Nursi was just trying to hold on to that positioning a bit too long. So Nursi, Bobby's going to get taken down. Habib gets taken down. Fink gets taken down. That's kind of just those are not really super useful picks right now. I believe getting taken down is big. Oh, whoops. I'm gonna take it down. Borg's gonna take it down, and now it's just back and forth. Um, the end of the winner of this fight is gonna be whoever has more picks, and this guy's gonna be it's gonna be Irene. So Nursi actually burns the Billy. That matters because now it means this guy's gonna have like a full uber advantage. So again, sacks you can do them on the Cascade. They're not the best though because of how screwy this is and how over how protruding these all are. Your soldier is gonna have a good bomb. So the best thing you want to see is just seems to see some some sort of aggressive play from either cave or just bot across the point and looks like we're doing that from the left side so this was this was a good push because war is gonna go i mean on high set this should be a good push let's see okay the reason this was a good push though well, at least it should have been we're all gonna take it down the reason this should have been a good push that's why it looked like it won because their combo's left side, we went through left side with a full uber disadvantage, we got the force, we all caught it together through right side, and then we regressed. And that push would have been, like, perfect if it wasn't for our players not getting belts or posts. If you notice for the post, a lot of us died, and I think that was our players trying to focus the cap too much over getting health. So Bor and Bandit get taken out. We're gonna we're gonna full good advantage. So now we just need to finish this cap. We're, we're gonna want to dry push this because we cannot afford to be using here. I believe taking down Fane is good because that means that there's no at least chance for Nursi to drop in that aspect. Jerry gonna take it down. That is now five down from Irene. And now you want to see Candy playing aggressive here on the left side because that's really all you can all you can do. There's a minute left for us. So. Nixie, this is, uh, I'm just reviewing, uh, Grand Finals. Hopefully, like, helps, help people with, like, positioning and stuff, and how they should repush these maps. So, Banny and Jordan get taken down. That means there's, there's gonna be nothing, no really presence from under. Jerry gonna get aggressive on the left side, but as you see, I'm kind of alone on this left side. I want a forward hold, and forward hold's what you should be doing, but I'm kind of alone when I'm doing it. Um, honestly, I think, yeah, Sky went down, um, which is good, and that's gonna make our ad even bigger. But we get forced, and Nursi was at... Nursi was at full health at the time of the fours. So I think she used because we're dropping, we're, a lot of the players are dying. And using, I don't like using because of that, because now I think we might be able to hold it. Faint and Boar die, which is good. Sky gets pipe. The reason that, that you it would have been better to just milk that is because we would have had Uber in the back right, and we would have been able to use into them more aggressively than just using because you're dropping a lot of players. Nevertheless, four players going to get five players going down from Irene, and the reason that work that didn't work for Irene is because, as you see, they caught it behind this rock, and again, pa playing passive on this map is really bad because it's not like Lakeside. These these are really minute arches, and the more the le the more minute the arches, the more aggressive you have to be because you can't really hide behind the point like you can on Lakeside. So because they all they're all hiding in the same spot, they're already eating the same damage. So Candy bonding across the point allowed them to just get a ton of damage and it allowed him to get all those picks so fast. So let's say we have a right mid coming out from Candy. We also have a right mid from Irene. Um, and and the, initially it went into Candy's favor because again, you see our players just botting across the left side or heavy peeking from underneath. And whatever team is able to play more aggressively is able to the one that's able to bully them more. And in this instance, you see what every single player besides three and Irene went down, and Nursi was able to live. This is a really good mid from from Candy due to the fact that they just took the initiative, and because they started the because Irene started the mid so passively, they just all ate the same spam. And all these all these like everything I'm saying usually wouldn't apply to any other call that maybe besides product. But it applies a cascade just because of how it's played as a cough map very differently. 
So this force is really bad. I think we get forced by Habib, and it is a really bad Uber because um, Billy's horse is able to, de to deny me getting any stamina to this pocket, and we drop five players for the post. So this is going to be really bad. So the best thing you want to do in this instance is once you lose a point like that, even if it, even if it's a disadvantage, you want to just be doing the same thing in Cascade, going the same side as, as where their combo's forward holding and trying to get the force. So Boar's a freebie on the left side, and he's going to jump him. Um, he's not going to take him down. Which is, you know, whatever. Um, any bombing or aggressive left side is going to call that their combo is aggressive left side. And so you see us rotate across the left side so we can headbutt their combo. Um, Habib got a ton of damage on Nursi, and Nursi is still kind of weak as we speak. But they're four down on my ring, and it looks like we shift to the right side because, yeah, I'm dead. So they shift to the right side because it's a bit better for Sam because these allow you to get spammed less. So if your demo can't deny presence, you can, you can eat a, let, a bit less spam, at least from these signs, if you're right in this pocket. Anything behind this this pocket right here, you're going to be eating a lot of spam from because spam over these rocks is really good. So we get the forest goes out, Habib goes down, and Bobby goes down, but that's not really going to matter because we still have an uber advantage. Our spawn's going to come in, so now you want Candy to play really good stuff. Um, okay, yeah, so... The reason that uber, um, it was kind of not necessary is by the time we were on the point, they are three down, and we only have one spawner, so we have all our players up. And we were right here but with Uber by the time they were right here. So really, the play would have been to just stay right here, play aggressive left side, and not use, and allow them to escape through left side. It We would have had a 66% advantage if we just stayed left side and didn't try to bot. But I think because of the heat of the moment, and it was, it's, it's right now it's 2-1 in Irene's favor, they were right here by the time we used right here. I think the reason we used is because, because of a, it was like a desperation factor. You shouldn't be doing this. Their medic was already out. Like Their medic is like right here by the time we used. So we the only reason we get their medic is if I can jump in and manage to kill their medic there. And that's that's not reliable. I only did that one other time. But even if, you don't, no matter how consistent you are, that's not a reliable play. The best thing you could have do is preserve that advantage. And 66, 66 advantage is another what? That's... 25 seconds 66 percent uber is about 25 seconds so that's another 25 seconds we could have gotten this point down to 208 and probably down to just two minutes if we would have preserved this uber because they would have had to regress think little things like that is why you, you why we lost cascade because you see a lot of these ubers are spontaneous and they're not really well thought out and this is this is a really prime example of how this not how good this uber was So Uber's gonna fade, we're really gonna get nothing with it. Carson goes down, but that wasn't even two of the Uber. Jordan's gonna go down. And now the, the cap time's just starting to ca happen. And you see, Jarrett knows that we, they have the, the advantage right now. So, Jarrett's gonna regress across the right side. He was alone, so that really shouldn't have worked if our sniper was alive, but he wasn't. And he's gonna to bot across the point and, and kill me. And that's already four down for us. You see, as soon as the, as the Uber was faded, we were already four down because our, our players just were out of position and we didn't have the heals for it. Or heals on the opposite side. I think for that post, we had players on the right side. Well, me and my medic were on the left side. And that's why these players died over here. So now we have about a 20% um, disadvantage. That's kind of, that's fine. Because you can kind of just headbutt this. That's how you're supposed to play Cascade. Boar going down is really good. So now I'm going to get a really aggressive left side. I'm um, taking me is fine. We get the force here because I'm getting really aggressive getting spam. Um, Nursi has. she As soon as she used, as soon as she got it. Which I think she was getting weak. So that's... Okay. Um. Mm, yeah. Biggest issue with this is we didn't. Hit our players. Okay. I don't know what happened there. Our players for the post went underneath, and there was a strat involving underneath, but it wasn't that strat. And they're all gonna take him down. The reason that point that that Uber was lost is it was actually in Candy's favor for a pretty decent margin. The reason that point was lost is because three of our players went underneath for. For really no reason, there is there's only one reason why we went underneath, and that was not the reason at, at all. It was very different. So having a six v nine on point without any heals is going to make all these players up here get rolled, and then our players underneath when they try to escape are just going to get bombed. So that's why that push failed. You have to play together if you want to win Cascade. So now it's desperation mode. Only five seconds left on the clock. Billy and, and Carson go down, which are, which are pretty good picks from the defense side. But Nursi and Space is going down is mean that we have no one really far range to be able to take that down. And even if we get this cap, it's just a matter of seconds before Blue's going to be able to live. Um, 
Oh, this, if Eddie can get this bomb, okay. So, the only way we could have came back from that is if Eddie got that bomb, and because Eddie got Sky, there is now a chance that we can hold on to this point um, longer than 30 seconds. And the only way that happens now is because Eddie got that kill, and he actually lived during that, everyone from Kennedy has to live right now. Because you have an ad, you're not really going to work off the ad, but you're just going to work off the fact that because you have an ad, the ad's going to give you seconds. Having an uber advantage on Koth gives you more time on the clock. Eddie getting tagged immediately. So, me and Eddie were aggressive right side, but I think Bobby was looking at the, at the other side. So, the players were able to walk in through right side because our spam classes were left side because they weren't able to spam that out. And this point, it's complete carnage. Once your spam classes are dead on Cascade, it's over. And then it's 8 picks for Irene, and that's going to allow them to get this last cap. And that's going to win them grand finals because just because of how, how good that regression was, I told you. The way you win Cascade is you have to play your your, your repushes. Like, 